everyone. Welcome to Jatai Academy. I'm Ray, a stylist out of Los Angeles, California, and I'm so excited to share a medium length, long layered, flowy, face framey, Cindy Crawford inspired haircut with you today. So we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of the feather styling razor that many of us know and love. And so let's get started. So I'm going to establish my length by taking a section from the nape, kind of coming up to the occipital right before it starts to round down. When I work with my feather, I like to take sections and hold them horizontally. And I work from side to side. And then I'll come back and check everything at the end and um, making sure I have great tension. Tension is everything when using a razor. So you have to remember that you're working with one blade instead of two, like with shears. And when I come to this section right here, and there's typically less hair around this area and to just make sure I don't kind of cut too much. I like to over direct just slightly. So low elevation, lots of tension. And I'm using um, Jatai's R blades. I really love these because they have a little bit less of a guard to them. So for anyone who's maybe straight razor curious, having, um, having a little bit less of a guard is like an in-between for the feather styling and the plie. All right, so I've established my length. I've cut horizontally. And now I'm going to start to come in and cut vertically the same cutting angle, right? Like the same from the head. Um, that's not going to change too much, right? But I just want a tiny, tiny bevel. And so the same thing, starting to over direct. And when I come over here, I might not even have hair to cut, and that's okay. Ooh. My stroke is in between open and close. Open is more diffused, and a closed stroke is going to give you like a tighter line. Again, checking here. Just baby corner. And similar to a bob, I'm going to just start to move towards the front. So I can be mindful of where I'm headed because I will be doing a little bit of face framing as well. So now I'm going to start to diffuse a little bit more. And I have, 
I have the flat of the blade on the hair the majority of the time. If I want a cleaner cut, something kind of like that line that I was putting in in the beginning, that's when I would really work on the edge. But right now, I'm trying to blend it all in. So I'm not doing a ton of weight removal here, really not any, um, because I want to keep her shape very full. Um, Kristen's my model. Her density um, is medium, and her actual strand is medium fine. And so I want to make sure that she feels she feels like Cindy Crawford. Okay, so now I'm actually going to switch gears and move over to the front, and I'm going to do that because I just created my weight line, my perimeter here, and I want to make sure I'm connecting that, and then after that, I'm going to get into the crown layers and volume. But I like to establish my perimeter first. I've been cutting with the razor, the Jatai razor, for a few years now. It's kind of become an appendage, and I love it. Um, I love the versatility that you get with one tool. You have a multiple, a variety of looks to choose from. You know, if you want something more, um, you know, shattered and disconnected, you can achieve that. If you want a blunt line, you can achieve that as well. And it's a really beautiful tool because it has everything that you really need. So I see my guide, and I know... I want this to hit about right here. So visually, we're going to travel from about the chin to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this section, which is, I think of like the middle of her pupil or the middle of the brow. All right, so now I'm coming in. Traveling, I'm traveling, I'm traveling. So a mixture of open and closed strokes. And that's okay. So I'm over directing, but then I'm also turning. That helps me from taking a giant chunk and then leaving a shelf. Just the simple act of a little over direction, but also turning a little. And check that against my last section. So here. And I'm moving down the hair. Here I am again. So if you aren't already, be sure to follow us on social at Jatai Feather so that you can be the first to know about videos, content, educational stuff that we all love sharing with each other. And check in this section here. So something else I like to do while cutting is kind of mold the hair, move it around with my hands to see where it's going to sit. You know, our clients are air drying, and when they're air drying, they're touching their hair, they're moving things, and I want to see what that's going to look like for her at home. And I'm actually just going to follow that section I'm going to follow that section up till about right here. So same thing. Section is kind of right above that brow. Over directing, then I'm turning. It helps to kind of get started before you touch the hair. And I'm traveling down.
So I gotta be mindful on this side. I'm working with side parts. There's always a little less hair on one side. So I'm over directing and turning it. And remembering where I need to be, right, which is here. Am I close? Am I close? So you can imagine when she's blown out that these are going to kick out so beautifully. I'm so excited. So again, coming back over here. So moving and I'm traveling just a bit. So you can kind of see there's my guide right there. Starting to move before I even touch the hair. Okay. So now, rotating here, I kind of drop my finger angle, move my comb out of the way, and I start, kind of wind up my razor before I start cutting the hair, and that helps to diffuse the first cut, because the first cut if you don't have movement already going, um, it tends to be kind of blunt. And it's really easy to just knock a chunk off without really thinking about it. So I'm going to take the rest of the hair. This is going to be in the back. I'm going to cut this with the guide that I've created. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay. When I get over here to this side of the head, I'm elevating because I know that I've already traveled so far up the head. And when I'm checking to make sure that I'm on track to hit to where I need to go, I need to make sure that I'm working on the same part of the head. Right, so this is going to look different than up here, right? So same sort of thing. Overdirect a bit. Turn it. The same thing. Flat, 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 flat. Where's my guide? I'm going to work on the crown layers now. Now for this particular look, to keep a little bit more weight in the ends, instead of going this way, I'm actually going to keep it at about a 45. Now, when I hold my razor, I'm still more or less holding it the same way as I was before, but I'm going to be cutting up. It's really important to remember to kind of keep your elbow up a little bit so you have better range of motion. It's the same sort of thing. I'm moving, I'm moving. Perfect. And I'm meeting my guide. And my sections are kind of like a beach ball. I taking a little bit of the previous section, looking for my guide.
So now I've made it over here. So I'm traveling also, and I'm traveling because this is the side that she has less hair on, so I want to take a little bit less hair with my cut. Let's try and keep it as balanced as we can. And if you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, I highly suggest you do. You just click that bell and you'll be the first to know when new, uh, new educational content comes out. Okay. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'm just taking these baby corners. Okay, and now we're going to blow dry so you can see the final effect. Alrighty, and just a little recap. We started with the perimeter, worked our way forward, created her lustrous face frame. <laughs> I can't not do that. <laughs> I can't not do that. Um, we created her face frame and then we added in some crown layers for volume and height. Okay, so be sure to check out Jatai Academy for more educational videos like this to keep you inspired and keep things fresh. Again, I'm Ray and it was a pleasure sharing with you today. Hey.